Hello and welcome to the Oak and Lamb YouTube channel. My name is Becca Oaks. I'm an owner and craft educator here at Oak and Lamb. Today I want to talk to you about how easy it is to create labels with your Cricut Joy. We get lots of questions and comments about different projects that you can create with Cricut Joy. And honestly, you can create basically anything with Cricut Joy that you can with the Explore series machines other than print and cut, but we do have a hack for that too. Um, as long as the size that you are creating your project to be fits within this restriction, which is like four and a half inches wide. So. Like, don't feel like you're limited with this tiny machine. It does do some great things as long as you're doing smaller projects. But what we need today in order to create these labels is some printable vinyl. I am using a printable vinyl that is a matte printable vinyl because I'm also going to be using a Cricut pen there is a specific pins for the joy. So don't just go out to your local craft store and get any Cricut pins. They will not fit. They do have to be labeled Cricut joy pins because they are a different size. Anyway, we're going to be using the Cricut joy pin in order to draw on our printable vinyl and then cut it out for some awesome labels. So this is all we need here in order to create labels. Let's jump over onto the computer and look at the preparation in design space that we'll be doing. Before we jump over into Design Space, I wanted to grab an accent here from the Oak and Lamb website. If you go to our website and are a member, you can just type in accent and get all sorts of fun decorative pieces like this. And so I want just something um, cute, but decorative, maybe this one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press download and you can see this box will pop up we'll press the download button and then it will say or it will download to our computer and you can save it wherever you want to pull it into design space it's very easy we're just going to open Cricut design space press upload upload image and then drag in the svg or png but i prefer svg press upload and then we can add it to our canvas now what we want to do is decide how big we would like our labels. You also need to decide what shape you want your label, whether that be round or rectangle, square, triangle, whatever shape you want. Let's go ahead and go to the basic shapes on the left hand side and grab the shape that we have chosen. I am going to choose a rectangle. And then I need to decide how big I want my label. So I can make this two inches wide by three quarters of an inch tall. And then I'm just going to go ahead and change the color of this to white because my label will be white. But when I do that, it kind of blends in with this back. So one hack that I want to teach you really quickly is to change the blank canvas color by clicking right here in the bottom right hand corner. This comes up and then I can change the canvas color to something that contrasts a little better and is easier on the eye. Now let's zoom in so we can see what we're doing. And then I'm going to pull this image over. Now, since I put the graphic on the canvas before I added the basic shape, this layer is below this. So I can fix this a couple of different ways. I can right click and press bring to front, or I can drag over here in the layers panel and just pull it on top. Now I'm going to size this down and then I'll place it up here. And the next thing that I want to do is grab my text box. I have selected the country market font. And then I'm going to type in all of the different things that I want to label. So I'm going to be doing some kitchen labeling. So I'm going to type in flour, sugar. Once I have all of them typed out that I want, then I'm just going to format the text. The only thing that I want to do is this font naturally comes in with the kerning or spacing between the letters a little bit wider than what I want. So I'm just going to come up here where it says letter spacing and decrease the letter spacing. I can continue to click that or just hold it in um, and it will do it quicker. And now what I want to do is ungroup this. So all of it is grouped together right now. And the quickest way to ungroup this because we want each word grouped um, is to press advance. But really quickly, if I were to just press ungroup, then every single letter would be ungrouped, which is fine because you can go in and group it together individually or the easiest way to do that is to press advanced 
and then ungroup two lines. So now each of these is grouped together by line, which is exactly what we want. So let's pull all of these up here and size them down just a little bit so that they'll fit on our label like this. I'm gonna zoom in and then like I said a little bit earlier, I may have to change the size of this a little bit. I, I think the orientation would be better if it were a little more squared now that I have this font on here. So I'm gonna unlock this size lock ratio and just manually pull this down until I like the placement. That looks good. Let's move this down just a tiny bit. And then what I can do is duplicate this so that I can create the other label. So let's select both of these layers. We have our rectangle selected and this graphic, and I'm gonna press Command D on my keyboard. If you have a PC, then it is Control D but that just duplicated that layer. The other way to do that is to come up here and press duplicate here. <clears throat> now I can layer these on top, but let's go ahead and duplicate all of these. So how many more do we need? We need one, two, three, four. So we'll duplicate four more times. And now what we can do is select all of these and press bring to front so that all of them will be on top. Now we'll layer this right here. Bring this one down, layer it on top, and then we're just gonna repeat that process until all of them are layered together. Okay, once we have them all layered, you may want to use the uh, arrangement or alignment tools, excuse me, in order to center them. You can see pasta is a little bit off center. So if you want to, then come up to your alignment tool and press center horizontally so that everything is centered. You would wanna do that for each individual label. Once you're happy with all that, the last thing that we need to do is change these. Right now it is, and it, it is set to basic cut, so our operation would cut this out and we don't want that. What we want instead is to change this to pin. So under draw, you can see pin. We'll select that. And then you can change up here even more. So if you are using the fine point pin or a glitter pin or a marker or whatever you're using, we are using the fine point point four black marker today or pen today. So we will leave that as is, and then I'm gonna go ahead and change the rest of these so that they will draw as well. So to select just this layer, I've selected it, I have shift held in, and then I'm gonna select the word serial. This rectangle right here is not currently selected. That's exactly what I wanted. So let's go ahead and change this to pen, and we're gonna do this for the rest of them as well. Now that that is changed, we need to attach these layers to this. If we don't do that, then when we click make it, the rectangle will be over here on the mat and the words and the accent would be somewhere else. So we definitely wanna make sure that we're attaching that. So let's select all three layers, the word, the accent, and the rectangle, and we're going to press attach right here. The other thing that you can do is select all three layers and press Option on your keyboard if you're using a Mac. Option and A will attach these together. So that is a hotkey that you can use. Attach that, attach, and attach. Now we're ready to click Make It, but before we do that, you can see I've used a Maker as my machine the last time, so I need to make sure that I select Cricut Joy now I can click make it. It's gonna ask me a couple of things. It's gonna ask me if I wanna use smart material or if it's going to be on a mat. I am using a mat. You can change your mat size and your material size over here if you're using like the 12 inch mat instead of the six inch. If you're, if you're doing quite a few labels, you may wanna do that. Um, then you can change the size. We'll go ahead and press continue and we're going to connect to our Cricut. We are using printable vinyl, but as you can see, when you type in printable, printable vinyl does not come up because Print and Cut is not a feature here in uh, here with the Cricut Joy. So you're going to use sticker paper. So let's go ahead and select this. We'll press done. And then it's going to prompt us to load our pen into our Cricut Joy and our material onto our mat. 
So as you can see here, our mat is four and a half by six and a half, and the material that we're using is eight and a half by 11. So I am going to just use a paper trimmer and go ahead and cut this down to four and a half by six and a half. This is the We Are Memory Keeper paper trimmer and scoreboard. I really love it. Check it out if you need one. Now that we have this cut down, we'll go ahead and place it on our mat. And then I'm going to grab my brayer and bray this down so that it doesn't move on me. Now I can just open the little clamp right here and remove the fine point blade. Open my pen. I like to put the cap on the end of the pen and just leave it there so that I don't lose it. Place it in the clamp and close it. And now we are ready to go ahead and just load our mat. Cricut Joy does not have a go button, as you know. So back over in Design Space, we just have to click go. Okay, now we are ready for the next step and that is to remove the joy pin and put our fine point blade back in the clamp. You notice the mat is still there, did not have to unload it. And then back over in design space, it will give you the prompts to press go once the fine point blade is, has been reinstalled. Okay, now we're ready to go ahead and press unload on in design space. And one thing that I do wanna point out, you might see that the inside of these letters have not been filled in. That is because this is not a writing font. So Cricut Design Space, if you pull in a different font and even some Cricut um, fonts as well are not considered writing fonts, which means that Design Space sees the outside lines of the font and not just one line. So if you want one line that you don't have to fill in, then you need to look for writing fonts specifically. Um, however, if you use super skinny fonts like this, a lot of times you can use a larger pen or, or a marker so that it will create a larger line and kind of fill that in. We also have some hacks for filling fonts. So check those out. But um, some fonts look really good. Like this cereal actually looks really good uh, with without it being filled in. However, if I didn't like it, then I could just easily go in and fill these in with the Cricut Joy pen. But these are ready for use. I can go ahead and remove this from the mat and this does a die cut cut. If you wanted a kiss cut setting, then um, you would need to choose a different setting. But this is ready to go ahead and pull off. Now I can just easily remove the sticker here and place it on whatever I want to label. And we have quick and easy labels with our Cricut Joy. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you were able to make lots of really fun labels with your Cricut Joy. If you did enjoy this video, then you would love to be a member here at Oak and Lamb, where we offer all sorts of amazing information and education for crafters. We do love to craft with our Cricut, but we also love sublimation, woodworking, laser cutting, resin and so many other crafting mediums. So join Oak and Lamb and take advantage of our amazing cut file library where you get a free commercial use license, but also access to our member only Facebook where you have the amazing community, The Flock, where you can get all sorts of great inspiration, help and input on your crafting journey. We also offer member only content over there that you're not gonna wanna miss out. Click the link below and try out Oak and Lamb for a month for only $9.99. That is an incredible deal. And it's a great trial for you to see if Oak and Lamb is a good fit for you. Thanks so much for watching this video. Let us know if you have any questions or comments by leaving a comment down below. And if you're not a subscriber to the YouTube channel, go ahead and hit subscribe. Subscribe. See you here another day for another video.